Friday night, which normally means it's time to go out. But instead, a few Metro Health doctors spend their Friday evenings giving back. News Channel 5 Stephanie Ramirez just got back from shadowing those doctors at the St. Malachi Homeless Shelter. Yeah, Steph. Chris, it's called Doctors on the Street because it started with doctors helping out the homeless at Public Square. Now they regularly visit uh, St. Malachi, making a tremendous difference for Cleveland's less fortunate. Going, okay? This is how a few doctors from Metro Health Medical Center spend their Friday nights during the winter months, volunteering some of the most needed basic care Cleveland's homeless are unable to get. It's a program Dr. Leanne Chrisman Kawam tells us is absolutely needed because right now, she says, about 50% of the homeless population dies each year. This gentleman that got cancer and lost his business, and he and his wife are homeless. You know, if he'd have been a victim, in the Boston bombing, you know, he, there would be a fund for him, but instead, he's homeless and, and people are going to look funny at him. Many of the homeless at St. Malachi are also vets or the neighbor that lost their job and ended up on the streets, like Kenneth Williams. I feel like I had a uh, germ warfare in my chest two weeks ago. I was so sick. And if it was not for these doctors that came here with medication and cough syrup, I would be in big trouble. It's made an incredible difference. So many of the people that come in here have problems that to us may seem minor because we can go to a drugstore, we can pick up a bandage, we can take some medication, they can't. In this winter's blistering cold, every little bit helps. In turn, doctors make friends, maybe sharing a joke or two about old equipment. They look like I'm dead. <laughs> God, that's a dinosaur you're working with. But what they're really sharing is something more valuable trust. And building that trust is perhaps the most important part because doctors say many of the areas homeless and less fortunate are afraid to seek help even if it is a life or death matter. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Ramirez. Chris, back to you. All right, Steph, some remarkable doctors there. Thanks for that live report.